Good windy morning to you. Good morning. Julia and Tom here. We're out on the mine exploring trail once again. We're in a wash in the Jeep going up through the smoke trees. And we are headed up into these mountains to our left as the way we're looking. So that's our mission for today. It's a little windy. It should be pretty warm though, so we don't have to worry about freezing our butts off. Nope. So let's go hiking and see what we find. Okay. When you're traveling in the desert, it seems like you always end up in a wash. We have been hiking for a long time across a windy flat area that looks like that. I can finally see we're coming to a cabin up here and it looks like there's another structure further up canyon from there. So let's go see what the cabin looks like. It looks like there was probably another cabin or something here that's been flattened by the wind over the years. Part of this one's still standing. Looks a little rough though. Pretty rustic. I see a table with some bottles on it in here. Well, let's see, there's a ketchup bottle. That looks like maybe an oil bottle, doesn't it? A fuel can. And miscellaneous other bottles. A little pot there. That looks like it would be grape juice, judging from the bunch of grapes there. That's a neat bottle, isn't it? And then two more ketchup bottles. I don't know what this one is. Probably a sauce bottle. Mayonnaise back there. Instant coffee right here. The wall is covered in, I don't know if it's newspaper or if it's magazines or what, but not a lot is legible as far as the date goes. Up here to something about a divorce tangle. Can't really read it all. It's... Wild root cream. Crawfords of Beverly Hills. So this is another little room. Looks like there was probably a stove here. And it's got a concrete floor. This part actually isn't in terrible condition. Hanging racks over here for clothing. This is the back view of it. Had a little carport here. It looks like it's come apart. And there's the bigger cabin down that way. And I think the actual mine workings are going to be up this way. Here's an equipment trailer, some sort, utility trailer. Not sure what it had on it. Probably a uh, compressor or water pump or something, generator, who knows. Here's what appears to be some ventilation tubing. 
a bed spring and an old car with suicide doors on it and looks like the frame and suspension and stuff is over here for it because it's not underneath the car where it sits now That's kind of neat. So this would be 30s probably. The old hinges still work. Look at that. There you have it, still works. Pretty cool. Big fender. Very narrow hood at the tip of it. Kind of a mean looking thing from this angle, isn't it? That's a uh, miner's bed with that steel, what do they call that? Not fencing, but... Frame. Okay, we came up across a piece of rail, uh, CF and I, 162 maybe. All right, let's measure this rail. So the width of the base is two inches. The overall height is two and a half inches. The height of the head is about one half. The width of the head is one inch. The height of the webbing is an inch and a half. This looks like a rough hole like they made it themselves, about an inch and a quarter. So that's the rail. Let's keep going up and see what that building is up there. This is where the gate to the mine was. There was a sign there. And there's a chain here. And look at the lock. The lock doesn't look that terribly old. But I'm not a lock expert either. Looks Looks like it is the old mine road. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful little yellow flower. Wow. How nice is that? I've got a feeling that this year it might be a big bloom in the desert because of all the rains that came last fall that flooded everything. I believe that has a lot to do with the super blooms, the, the rain you get like in late December in that time period. Here is a cabin. Oh, look at the old ladder. That's an oldie. Here's a bed frame, it looks like. Another bed spring. A big... I was going to say a brake drum, but it's not a brake drum, it's too light. This thing's still standing. Although... It's getting a little rough. Still square though. That's good. Let's go inside and have a look. Look at the old lock here. They had a chain. It's a two room cabin. Need a little shelving in there. Look at that enlisted men only. Oh, here's a nickel plated something or other bracket for something. 
That's the view out the back window. Still on here. Oh yeah, screen's still here. That's looking back down the way we came from. So not much going on in here. And here's your special service office up in the ceiling. It must have had a military office where they got a couple things from. We went up here to check this working out. Here's the old track leading to the mine dump. Julie's at the end of it there. It's kind of a reddish color to the waste truck pile. And there's the end of it. A few miscellaneous items down in the wash there. Barrels and such. There's also a building here, probably a shop of some sort. Blacksmith shop, maybe. Let's go look at that. Oh boy, a rock came through here, didn't it? I took the back wall out. Yeah, it's always a little suspect when you build your your cabin or structure right into a hill. You're going to take some incoming damage from rocks flying down when the uh, erode out and let loose. Look at that little jar, a little like a porcelain jar. That's kind of neat. I don't know what it's got in it, but. Here are a couple of tanks, air and or water, or both, valve still work? Yeah. Uh, not really. Here's the portal. Danger, stay clear. It's got a big bar across it. It's open. That is a pretty neat looking portal. Look at the vein, you can see how it's standing on end up right above the door here. Looks to be about four feet wide. Here's what you see as soon as you enter the portal. Another hard hat. A bucket hanging here with not much in it. A ventilation tube, an electrical line right here, and a failing top cap on this timber. Track is present. Uh oh. Looks like it only goes about 30 feet. There is also a few air and water lines, or both. A bucket of wedges. Miners love their wedges. A Folgers can. It doesn't look terribly old, does it? No. It's a rag. There's an old ladder. Well, I hope this turns. If not, this is going to be a short explorer. Yeah, they probably use that to pull ore out of the chutes. A garden hoe or a a lot of the concrete guys use that too for mixing up in a wheelbarrow. And the vein is directly overhead. Let's go back here and look and see what it looked like. This is what they saw when they first came here. These vertical stacked rocks. There's another insulator. That one's white. We saw a brown one outside. They're white in here. 
Okay, let's hopefully this goes around the corner. Oh yeah, I see a, uh, a track switch right here. There's another five gallon bucket. Looks like the vein must have, they must have liked this red because it pinched out and then they turned. So here's some flexible vent tubing. And the tracks curve to the left. Oh, a big, big wall here. And a very red vein. Well, this is going to be a short explore because there's the end of it right there. A couple loads of backfill and the face. But not to worry, we've got more workings to explore back down below. Yeah, that's definitely the face right there. These little things always look like ancient plant life to me. I don't know if it is or not. Well, it's been interesting. It's yeah, nice smooth. It's so smooth. Yeah. It's been rubbing together over the centuries. So they took out about a, oh, I'd say a good five foot vein here. And more, some places. It's a little tip different than the typical gold vein that we see. I believe this was a gold mine, wasn't it, Julie? Yeah, it was. They put a lag bolt into a little hole to hold their vent lines. Even in a small mine like this, you want to have vent lines blowing cold air or clean air in from the outside especially after you've been blasting to clear the fumes from the nitroglycerin so you don't get a headache then you'll be shot for the rest of the day all right let's go back outside and we'll go down lower and i think there's a more major working down below here's a rock anchor for anchoring things after you've drilled a hole in the rock and this one hasn't even been used still got the original factory band around it and then as you put your bolt in there it would pull that wedge up. I guess you'd put it in from this way. It would pull that wedge up and spread those. That's neat. Spread these apart and these would dig into the rock. Here's a little shaft with a ladder in it. It looks like it may have gone a little deeper the ladder goes down into the dirt oh, can you even see that anyway we're still working our way down the mountain going for a little bigger working down below here there's another vein they exploited a little bit and there's a little bit of an underground deal there they stripped this part out a little bit Good thing I've got a tough camera because I just dropped it in the rocks from about four feet. But it still works. So here's kind of an interesting beer bottle. It's got textured 
uh, glass. It's got a pattern on the sides of it. It's a no deposit, no return, so it's not real old. And it's... Is that anchor glass? That one with the, looks like an anchor on it? Uh, the top says 8566. Left is 3, I believe. Right is 40 or 4 something. Bottom is 7 and a dot. Here is the gate to the bigger cabin that we haven't been to yet. And then beyond that, I think, is another underground working that hopefully we can access. There's an old model Coleman camp stove. That one's been around a while. We're almost down to the cabin. Oh, there's a nice Acotillo. It's just starting to grow a little bit, it looks like, at the tips. They look like they're dead, but all of a sudden they get a little water and they pop back to life. There's a nice Shell Oil Company drum. Looks like a 55 gallon drum. Here's something else, uh, some kind of solvent in that one. Here's a water heater. Here's what's left of this cabin. Wow, what a mess. Looks like there was some plumbing in here. And this thing is just blowing apart everywhere. Here's a homemade sled of some sort. I'm guessing to haul either ore or equipment around or something. Look at that. It's kind of neat. That looks like part of an old hood. And underneath it was this vinegar bottle. You yeah, always see vinegar bottles around mines. I'm going to put this back on here where it was. And one theory is that it was very useful for cleaning the carbide lamps. After they run for a while, they would get carbon deposits on them that were hard to clean, I guess. And the vinegar helped, the acid in the vinegar helped dissolve it. Here's the kitchen. Wow, I see a modern oven in the other room there. Here's a Whirlpool. Dare I open this thing? Ice magic, does it say? Well, once again, no Jimmy Hoffa. Ice Magic Whirlpool, RCA Whirlpool. Here's the bigger room. Oh, look at the modern kitchen. Yeah. Oven's even clean. It's got a TV dinner waiting for it. <laughs> Here's the counter. Good. Yeah, I got the old crank yeah. can opener. This is a Wedgwood. Nice yeah, stuff. four burner stove. Big sink. You can probably make that still work. There's some log cabin syrup. Lowry seasoning salt. Or seasoned salt. All kinds of cool stuff. That's a pretty nice can right there. So there's a neat two gallon can here. Electro pen. Olive with something. 100% pure Pennsylvania. Okay, here are some entries on this cabin wall from 80 and 81 and 83. Looks like 83 is the latest, most recent I should say. So December 24th, Christmas Eve, 1980, they got 209 grams. Okay. Mm -hmm. January 19th, 
81, they got 149 grams. They changed the stove tank in uh, March. They got, I'm not sure what all these, well, maybe that's the market price. They have London and New York prices. January 21st, bad day, sick. Over here, London Gold. December 10th, 575, 574. These must be the market prices, the spot price or something like that. So obviously there was a mill here because these are tailings, mill tailings, and here's a piece of quartz with some iron and other stuff in it. So we're coming up to this other working, and you can see mill tailings on the right, mine dump on the left. The tailings have been washing down the, the uh, ravine here. There's a cable spool that reads Olson Weber, I believe. Can't quite see it all, but we're almost up to the uh, the mill, and it looks like there's another shack up here. Here's a tank, and there's a big battery. There's a wash tub. Oh, there's a engine and a transmission that must have powered the mill somewhere along the line. Uh, this looks like some leach tanks down here. I'm guessing it was a cyanide leach operation. Here's a sink. It was part of the process. Here's an engine. This had a belt drive onto something. Look at that little engine. Oh, are these from a ball mill? Boy, they weren't down to nothing if this was a ball mill. Oh yeah, I suppose this was a ball mill sitting here. Look at all the balls in the ground. So there's this little engine here. And here's the drive belt still here. Look at that little four-cylinder engine. Transmission. Now I could smell that gas when you took the cap off. Is there still gas in there? There's an oil pressure gauge it looks like. I'll let it under my glasses on. Fuel pump and strainer, although it's upside down from what you usually see. Coil upside down from what you usually see. Air cleaner still here. Aluminum intake manifold. Starter is still here, solenoid. Fuel tank. Well, let's see if she spins. Where's my horsepower, Julie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that still spins. It's in neutral though because the engine's not turning over. Uh, let's see if it's got oil in it. What do you think? Any guesses? No. Yep, still got oil in it. You need to add some? I don't know. I couldn't see the marks. Didn't look terribly dirty. So there would have been a ball mill sitting here apparently. up here let's go top look side and look at that here's one of these neat green um, lamp holders I like those except that's a little different shape than usual unless it's squished it doesn't look like it's squished it doesn't it, does look it? Like it no that's cool 
look at the way they have shored up this little trestle here over to the ore bin. They've got five gallon buckets and 55 gallon drums full of rocks and for uh, just for dead dead weight in there. Oh, there is an air compressor. I recognize that right off the bat. That's a, uh, I think that's one of those SRAM. We'll go look a little closer in a minute. There's a uh, belt guard for something. Here's looking out under the tracks, going out to the little trestle, out to the ore bin. looking down on the little engine that powered the mill this is out to the out to the ore bin there's still one track out here so I feel somewhat safe so they had a bit of a classifier here and that's looking down to the the leaching operation over here is more of the same the way they've braced this up I gotta say, it's not really holding up that well. So here is their generator. Another four cylinder engine. Kohler, electric plant, 1200 RPM, 60 cycles. Single phase, 115 volts, 4 kilowatts, I don't know what kind of engine it is. So this is their compressor. Can we open that up? No. Got her? Yeah. Yep, that's a SRAM. Let's stay. No. Okay, you got it? Yep. So this is the SRAM. Uh, oh, this is a little different than the other ones I've seen where they were half. Half the engine was engine and half the engine was compressor but this is kind of the same principle this is just coupled to a compressor this is the compressor side this is the engine side oh here's here So this is probably a choke, the starting button, and uh, maybe lights. Pretty neat. So this was the uh, U.S. Marine Corps unit originally, probably. Probably bought as surplus. Found yourself an old flat blade shovel. Let's spin it around. That's oh, a smooth backed one. Usually you see that triangle flange on there. Here's a nice workbench with the uh, butcher block style bed on it, table on it. Water tank. Back over towards the uh, generator station. A lot of other stuff laying around. This cabinet of some sort. Light fixture, trouble light type of thing. So you don't knock the bulb out of it. Here's a cool little snuffer, I think it is, for panning, or is that a little oil can? It's, I don't believe it's metal, I think it's plastic. Maybe a little snuffer for if you're, you know, panning to pull out your very fine stuff. Okay, that's looking back through the portal. This is looking down the mine entrance. There's a chair here. 
There's cool green lights, there's enamel lights. Uh, an axle of some sort? I'm not sure what that is. There's track in here. Also air and water lines. Rubber. So as we enter the mine it's 72 degrees. Let's see if it changes as we go. It feels like it's going to get a little warmer to me. I don't recall seeing that before. No. Here's Polymer M570. Oh, here's a whole box of the uh, anchors. Yeah. Brand new anchors, never been used. Rock anchors or concrete anchors. Does that have a name on the box? Patent manufacturing. Oh, yeah. Anchor box. plane flange safety shoes made in USA. High test. Okay, and these anchors are from Patent Manufacturing? Yes. Division of Eastern Something in Marietta, Ohio. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff sitting here, isn't there? Well, there's a bunch of oil filters. And other filters. And there's a whole filter assembly, and that's pretty nice. Poison. Yeah, sulfuric acid. Oh. That's for that's for uh, testing to see if there's a reaction with gold. There's a little belt. There's a little belt. And then there's an electric motor and a fan motor. A little drive belt. And can you look at the what's this one? It's a box. HD air filter. Pick it up. Pure later. Oh, there's a danger stencil. Danger mining. Can you pick up that? The green? Mm -hmm. oh, that's, is that plastic? No. This tin? Yeah. Danger something mining. What was the other part that somebody took, somebody took that yeah. part? Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. A danger mining something mining stencil. What are all these? Washers, huh? Washers. It's all the washers you'd ever need the rest of your life. I don't see an obvious vein that they're following. You? No. Here's more yellow flexible vent line. And there's a junction here. And there's some plumbing. Straight ahead it stops. the cool or plus the shaft bucket neat very neat that's awesome yeah that's way cool there's a little ladder here where does this go 
and we'll stop. About 12 feet high, maybe. What are these? Those are the anchors when they're securing the back of the mine for to use them with these plates. And they put these strips up. Uh, like bacon strips. Well, that's what some people call them. I get yelled at when I call them bacon strips. But then you can't please everybody all the time, can you? I think there's a cat in here. From the looks of, from the looks of the poops laying around. So here's an interesting wall. Here's the face of this little drift. Behind me is that ore chute and a ladder. I don't know where the ladder's going. It didn't really seem to go very far up. Somehow they've got up in that little crevice up there. I can't tell you how. And this drops through the floor too, but not very far. I don't know if it went further in the past or not. So there was a set of ladders that went up here. Uh, this is the type of thing that happens when rocks come down a shaft where there are ladders. So just if you're ever tempted to throw a rock down a shaft, if it has ladders in it, please don't do it because it ruins the ladders. Look at. So this is an interesting wall here, pretty neat. Some interesting colors, very smooth. So neat. This was a rope that I'm guessing at one time was used to lift this gate. There's probably a, uh, a pulley up on that little hook up there. Right here. Probably a pulley up there and that would lift this gate up. You could stand here and have your ore car right here and, and pull up that gate to fill up the ore car. And the water lines and the air lines both go up and follow this ladder up. And there is a working up above here that we're going to go check out and maybe we can see uh, if this ties in up there. There's a box down here that says Tim Igen, I think. T-I-M-I -I something E-N. I'm guessing Jen. Tim Igen. Never heard of it. Well, there's a nice tool. I call that a grub axe. Some of you might have a different name for it. There you go. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. They're nice tools. Or a grub hoe, you could call it. Kind of mainly used for, uh, in my experience, for like digging out stumps and roots of shrubs and stuff that you don't want. Here's a hammer handle that somebody drilled holes in, or maybe it came that way. A tape measure from Machinery Center, Salt Lake City. Another tape measure, Lufkin. Okay, so it's gone from 72 to 80 degrees. We've only been in here maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Let's see where this branch goes. Well, the cat's yeah, the cat. I'm pretty sure this is cat scat. 
and it doesn't seem real fresh, but it sure seems like there's one in here somewhere. There has been one in here somewhere. Kind of crude bends in the track here. Pretty interesting mine though. Look at this red, wow. Wow. Red? Yeah, it's really cool. That's straight up. This isn't really quartz, is it? Yeah, very red. Yeah. It's so thick. Well, this looks like it's cave, doesn't it? Yeah. I thought maybe it was backfilled, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it could be. That might be the face back there. It might just be backfilled. Got a peculiar smell back here. What is that? Oh, yeah. What is that smell? I don't know, but. Kind of humid. Mm -hmm. Humid smelling. This must have been where the uh, blower motor sat. I don't know what else that would be for. And then their little workbench for stuff. Okay, we're going to head back out and we will see what else we can find up above here. There's some writing on the side of the rail here. You see that? It says... Something in it. Savannah? Savannah? Savannah. There are all kinds of what look to be wings in here, like bug wings. I don't know if something, if they've come in here and died, but there's no bodies. It looks like something might have eaten the, the parts of them that are gone. Well, we're heading up to the upper working. Some rugged country here. They've got a trail wall built up for Julie's about to cross on. Here's a little winch. I'm not exactly sure how it was made or if it's an officially manufactured winch. I think it's part of a rear end off of a vehicle. Half of a rear end, the rear axle. It's got a drum fashioned on this end of it to wind cable on. Here's a tram line. This is anchored in by this pipe and there's a turnbuckle there that would have tightened this up, probably held this back that way. The tram line goes this way up to another portal, looks to a horizontal portal up that way. Let's go look at that, the tram line ran over there to here.
So here's one of the wheels from the carriage on the tram line. That would have been hooked on somehow to the ore bucket and it would roll along the line if you really will roll it. It still rolls. Mm -hmm. There probably would have been another one or maybe not and the bucket would hang off the bottom of that. The tram line runs up that way to a portal. So there are three of these pulleys. It looks like an almost looks like an end cap from a motor, doesn't it? Electric motor. But I wonder if they were uh, trying to use that to run on this tram line. And then look at this boulder over here it had come down on the tram line. That must have fallen from where, from right here somewhere, huh? Mm -hmm. But that squashed the tram line. That's for sure. Okay, just got into the portal, through the portal, and here's the tram cable. Comes right inside. And anchors right here. There's an old ladder. Very old. And it just goes a little ways and then ends. Here's the face. Well, let's take one last look overlooking the mine. And then we're going to wander on down the road and back home. The beautiful rugged mountains, the Coxcomb Mountains. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you on our next adventure. I see one of my little buddies down here. A little turp. Wow, look at the can dump. What a mess. So we're heading back down the wash and look what I found. It's an old Listerine bottle and on the bottom it says Lambert Pharmacal Company. Company. Pharmacal, never heard of the word.